Lucas Media. So the results finally came back. Ryan Garcia B sample tested positive for Osterine. And he's been going online and, you know, acting a fool, cutting a jig, as we used to say. But the, the results come back, right? Men lie. Women lie. Numbers don't. And the numbers show that Ryan had performance enhancement drugs in his system. I wasn't surprised, honestly, especially when you go back and watch the fight. Ryan had all this magical power. But, you know, Ryan Garcia, his fanboys are so extreme. They don't care. They don't care. And it's so bad that even like a lot of these bigger channels, because they don't want to piss off Ryan's fan base and lose subscribers to where they're saying, man, we don't know, man, we don't know. But when it comes to anybody else, you'll see them go at uh, a fighter. If it's a black fighter that tests positive, he's guilty and too proven innocent. If it's a Canelo or Ryan Garcia that test positive then there's so many different things that's going on you see this with the fans you see this with the sanctioning bodies even even some fighters i mean you even had some fighters making excuses people want to act like they it's so sad that because ryan has all this fame people are willing to sell their souls and get on his live and cut a jig and get the you know dancing and you know <laughs> Ryan Garcia <laughs> they willing to do that versus be honest and stand on integrity Devin Haney is a brother that was raised by a strong black father and we all know that strong black fathers are public enemy number one to America they don't want to see that so that's where all that hatred and animosity came in so people they just they wanted to see Devin Haney lose because they wanted to see Bill Haney have pie on his face but little do they know, the person who beat him was on the dope. And I don't care if it was, it was so many people on my channel, man, he only had a fraction of, listen, I don't care if it was a fraction of a fraction. The man had it in the system. He was trying to flush it out. He admitted to taking IVs and smoking weed and everything else to mask it up. And he got caught. He got caught. He didn't think he was going to get caught or if he thought he did, it was going to happen before the actual fight. But, you know, let these Ryan Garcia fans tell it. It was all the egg, bro. It was all the egg. It's a conspiracy, man. They out to get him. Now, I see Ryan came out on Twitter, and uh, he's constantly tweeting about it. He knew this was coming. But he figured in his mind he could pull some of the hardcore Ryan Garcia fans who don't know ish about boxing to his side to where they'll agree with him no matter what, even if he was positive or not. I've even had people on my channel in my comment section say, man... Devin Haney would lost anyway, bro. He would have lost anyway. Ryan, Ryan Garcia and all these, all these different Facebook group sites I'm in. Well, guess what? We don't know because Ryan was on the dope. Period. And I know that's hard for people to see. I know because Ryan it pulled a lot of people strings and talking about, you know, I was forced to see things I didn't want to see and the world's out to get me. I'm speaking up for the voiceless. And I, I know y'all want to believe that mess. That Illuminati, you know, secret society BS. I know y'all want to believe it. But in reality, your boy's a dope fiend. He like dope. He like he like taking the juice. He does. The, the results came back. And that's okay, fine. Be on the juice. But you finna be banned. And I hope Devin Haney sues him. And the New York State Athletic Commission, they better change Devin Haney's record from a loss to a no contest. Devin, man, get everything you can out of him, him and Bill Haney, bro. Sue him on half percent of his name. Because Ryan, he need to feel this. And he need to have an example. This dude, this is one of the biggest pay-per-views, especially this year. And it's all in vain because he was on the juice. People lost out on all kind millions. It was millions floating out there in the betting well, between FanDuel and DraftKings and, and all these other different betting websites. People lost all that money because Ryan was on drugs. And here's my thing, right? Y'all also, Connor Ben. I see people going in on Connor Ben when Alicia Bumgarner tested positive. I seen people going in on her. Fine. If you want to blame, if you if you want to have them people cancel, fine. But we got to cancel your boy, too. Everybody should be... The the real boxing fans should be disgraced, disgusted, because we all know in this sport that we all love that when fighters go in the ring, 
they never come out the same. So just imagine if somebody goes in a ring on the dope and they come out and they put their hands on somebody. That's assault. That is pure assault. This ain't basketball. Even baseball where you're just hitting the ball and throwing. No, no. You are literally putting your hands on somebody. They wasn't going to be the same anyway. But now look. But like I said, Devin, he going to bounce back from it. Ryan, he going to be on, on social media cutting a, cutting a jig. He going to get on Twitter and uh, go in that live room. Oh, man, you see me? The up's about to get me, man. I told you. I told you. Hey, hey, hey. They put... Uh, I, 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 seen them, I seen them put something in the, in the in the results. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all. And you're going to have people on there talking about, man, he right. You right, bro. Man, man, Ryan versus everybody, man. Ryan calling everybody out, man. This is it's sad, man. But this is the state of boxing we in. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Again, he needs to be banned. He needs to be spending for multiple years. And whatever happens to him moving forward, that's on him. And one more thing, even with Tank, right? Even with Tank. Tank talking about he felt like people were after Ryan and all of that. Tank, what would you do if Ryan beat you when it came back and found out he was on performance enhancement drugs? Hmm? I think you would be singing the same tune. And if Devin Haney was to come out and, and say uh, the world out to get Ryan, you would see people getting on Devin. But you're going to see. You'll find out. But I want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.